the oldest soldier in the world, fought for 90 years and died at the age of 108. John Terrell lived in three different centuries. He performed almost 90 years of military service. He served three different French monarchs. At 18, Terrell signed up with the Touraine Regiment. He remained with that unit for his entire military career. During his long life, Terrell took part in four wars. He fought in the War of Polish Succession. It was mainly a struggle between France and Austria. During the Siege of Kell, Terrell was shot in the chest. Terrell then fought in the War of the Austrian Succession. French troops occupied the fortress of Bergen op Zoom. The doors of the fortress were shut. Terrell scaled its walls so that he would not miss muster. For that he was admonished for the first and only time. At 61 years old, Terrell took part in the Battle of Minden. It was the decisive battle of the Seven Years' War. Terrell survived seven sword slashes. Six of them were to the head. France supported the Americans in the Revolutionary War. At the age of 83, Terrell crossed the Atlantic. He took part in the Yorktown Campaign. It was the last major battle of the war. Terrell was offered promotion several times. On each occasion, he turned it down. Terrell remained a private throughout. He never dropped off the regiment's active duty list. In 1787, his regiment was sent on a long march. The 88-year-old Terrell was offered a ride in a coach. He refused the offer and marched on foot. Terrell's modesty extended to decorations. Louis XV established the Medal of the Two Swords. This medal was awarded for 24 years of service. In 1787, Terrell stood before King Louis XVI. The king addressed him respectfully as father. He offered Terrell a choice of decorations. He could opt for the Royal and Military Order of St. Louis. It had never been awarded to a soldier of a low rank. He could also choose the Medal of the Two Swords. Terrell already had two of them. He had four more months of service for a third one. Terrell chose to get the medal early. He asked the king himself to attach the medal to his uniform. Louis XVI granted Terrell his wish. He also granted Terrell an annual pension of 300 livres. The French monarchy was swept away in 1792. Napoleon I established the National Order of the Legion of Honor. It became the highest decoration in France. In 1804, Terrell was the first to receive the order. He was 106 at the time and still in service. Napoleon also rewarded him with a pension. But Terrell's most cherished honor came from his regiment. In 1787, the officers paid for his formal portrait. The painting elevates Terrell to the stature of a general. Only his medals indicate his low ranking. In 1804, the National Order was added to the painting. Military service ran in John Terrell's family. He had three brothers in the army. They were all killed in the Battle of Fontenoy. In 1874, Terrell's son served in the same regiment as his father. He was promoted to corporal. Terrell remained healthy throughout his long life. He passed away at the age of 108.